My name is Jabali Sawicki. I'm the founding principal of Excellence Boys Charter School in Bedford-Stuyvesant, an all-boys K-8 public charter school serving boys in the Bed-Stuy Brooklyn community. I'm thrilled and honored to be able to speak and address Graduate Pittsburgh. We have a serious problem in this country where we're failing a large number of our students, particularly brown and black kids, underprivileged, underserved. So to be able to share the space today with individuals committed to changing some of the negative trends is thrilling. And I particularly was talking about black boys. Uh, in our school is about 95% African American boys. But just trying to share best practices that are working with the hope that if more schools adopt these best practices, that we'll start to see more and more of our children succeeding at the highest levels. Absolutely. So a couple of things that we found over the years that we need to ensure our boys get. One is joy. They need to fundamentally love and appreciate and enjoy being in school. The second is structure, and that's manifested through high behavioral expectations. Our classrooms need to be structured so the teaching and the learning can take place. And the other, which is probably the most critical, is academic rigor. Our schools must ensure that our boys are mastering the learning standards. Uh, and within academic rigor, we talk a lot about literacy. It's making sure that every single one of our scholars at the end of kindergarten is able to read. Because research suggests, particularly for black boys, something happens around third and fourth grade. Their attitudes about school become negative. That can be traced back to the fact that they cannot read. In the third and fourth grade, you move from learning how to read to reading to learn. And if your world is dominated by text and you're expected to be literate and you're not, you can see where you can become disenchanted and alienated from that which is supposed to be uplifting and empowering. Yes. So on my tie here is four pictures of one of our scholars named Michael Miller. Michael Miller started with us in first grade as a six-year-old. Michael Miller last month was awarded the prestigious Jack Kent Cook Young Scholar Scholarship. Michael's now an eighth grader, and this scholarship will pay for any high school that Michael chooses to attend any college university that Michael chooses to attend, and any graduate studies program that Michael chooses to pursue. So for a young black boy in bed -Stuy, the situation could have been grim. The scenario could have been very different. But after eight years of working with him, of celebrating him as a scholar, the world is his for the taking, because this scholarship is a game changer. So to be a part of that, to have Michael go into the world and be a symbol to represent what's possible if we believe that our scholars can achieve at the highest levels, if we're committed to providing them with those resources that will get them there, he represents a success story that so many people doubted would ever be possible. Absolutely. I live right next to the school. The principal's house is right next to the school. I share a wall with the first grade class. My poor wife, she wakes up every morning because she goes to work a little bit later than I do to the first grade scholars cheering and chanting. Right? When I sit outside on the stoop on Sunday reading a paper, I'll get 10 to 15 scholars and their families drive by and say hi. Right? I think that's important. Right? We are a part of our communities. And when they see us in, our, in their communities, when we share with community, it lets them know that we are genuinely committed not only to changing the trajectory of their lives, but we're committed to changing the trajectory of the entire community. Yeah, so, so in elementary school, when student wins the Student of the Week award, they get a, the spirit stick, which is a colorfully painted bedpost. And they walk around the school so everybody recognizes their virtues and their contribution to the community. Eventually, they get too cool for that. So our middle school students, we had to find a way to jazz it up a little bit. So we bought the big heavy duty WWF World Wrestling Federation Championship belt that they wear around their waist and they feel cool because they all love wrestling, but also it symbolizes our commitment to the values that we espouse at our school. And when you find a way to connect those two things, scholarship and values with whatever middle school students think is cool, that's when things begin to sink in and that's when they begin to internalize all the message that we're teaching. And we're also a part of a high performing network of charter schools called Uncommon Schools. And you can find that information at www dot uncommon schools dot org or you can visit you can find us online come out and visit and see what we're doing and you'll be blown away by the brilliance of our young scholars